Okay, so one of the bummers of having a two-stroke is denting the thing up, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. We've got some pretty good gouges in our brand new KTM 300 pipe. This is off our 2017 uh, first maiden ride. Uh, pipe guard would have helped this one, so this you know kind of goes for maybe buying a pipe guard, but doesn't solve all of them. Like this one right here probably still would have got there. This one might have been helped by a pipe guard. Um, there wasn't a pipe guard available for this bike yet. We're still checking on that. We think their E-Line or P3 might have one, so we're going to work on that. But right now, we're going to pull the dents out ourselves. We've got our buddy Chance. He's going he's gonna to help us heat these things up. My uncle has done this for years, and uh, it's a little bit dangerous, so make sure you know what you're doing before you start on something like this, but we'll show you how the process works. There's a lot of guys that you can ship your pipe to. It does cost a decent amount to ship your pipe back and forth. Most guys don't charge a lot to do this. So we're going to show you how to do it right now. So the key to this is these guys have rigged up some really cool little fixtures. We've got rubber on one side, got an air fitting here, and with this, they're able to clamp down here on the on these right here. Can clamp down and get a good fit. We're going to block off here in the front and block off on the rear right now. So here you can see our fittings are, we got this blocking this side, and we got this one on, on here blocking this side off with our air. Now if the pipe has a lot of time on it and a bunch of carbon inside, you'll want to burn all that out or it could explode or shoot away on you. So I've seen that happen before. Uh, this is a brand new pipe, we should be okay here. So here we're around uh, right around 60 psi is where he likes to kind of start. If it's an older pipe with more uh, damage around the welds, or you might have to use less pressure, risk popping it apart. Hey, so that's all there is to it. Our pipe is still hot. You can see we've gotten all these big gouges out here. And these ones in here can really rob power. Some of these ones in this bigger part, little ones, aren't going to really affect your power a drastic amount a lot of times. Uh, I've even had guys that build pipes tell me that. But some of these in here could really hurt your power, especially if it folds back into the frame. So we're probably going to invest in a pipe guard for this pipe and our FMF that we'll be putting on in the future. We're going to show you a little bit of, here's one that Chance with the uh, motor horse he's working on. Now, Chance is based here in Utah and mainly does pipes for a lot of the local guys. Uh, because, we are just talking about it, the cost of shipping back and forth can be 15 to 20 bucks each way, and then it's around 50 to 60 bucks to get it repaired, depending on how bad it is. This would be an extremely bad one. This is, and he's gonna try to get some of these out of here, if not all of them, right? Yeah. He, he says he didn't get them all out. So, um, probably gonna take uh, two or three times longer what we just did on this. With a brand new pipe, it was quick and easy, wasn't a big deal. Uh, you know, these are all compounded on each other. He's going to go through this thing and bend them up and try to get them uh, right back to new. So. Hey, so as you can see, it's, it's questionable. It depends, you know, what works for you. If you find somebody locally that can, you know, can help you for 40 to 60 bucks, you know, range to fix up your pipe, that's awesome because you don't got to pay to ship it back and forth. If you have to pay to ship it, um, then you can check around, find a good deal for you. There's plenty of guys out there, and Motor Horse does it here in Utah um, for those guys that are local, and uh, pretty good deal. So... We're ready to go riding.